Minior, the cute little meteor Pokemon that blasted its way into the Alola region and then just disappeared. Looking through Pokemon Sun and Moon's Pokedex, I find myself having several oh yeah that Pokemon existed kind of moments. But Minior is a legitimately cool Pokemon that I don't see a lot of discussion about nowadays and don't remember a whole lot even back then. And it's not that this Pokemon is very hard to find. It can only be found on Mount Hokulani, but it has a 30% encounter rate. When you finally do find one, it just looks like a chunk of rock. Minior is one of the few Pokemon that has a form change that occurs during battle, based on its remaining HP. Once its HP drops to below 50%, its shell breaks apart and reveals the core inside. And this core can even have several different variations. I think this is kinda cool. I don't know what the general consensus on Pokemon with a bunch of alternate forms that only differ aesthetically is, but I like them. Makes each one even more unique. And if you want a specific core color, it's like a fun surprise. But then again, maybe Pokemon doesn't need even more RNG. It's also pretty neat that the seven colors correlate to the colors of the rainbow, but both forms have different advantages in battle. When Minior is in its shell, sure it has some high defense, but not much else that's very useful. Once the shell comes off, it trades those defenses for some good attack and a whole lot of speed. This actually makes it one of the fastest Generation 7 Pokemon. One weird downside to a lot of the Pokemon introduced in Alola was that they were kind of slow. The Ghost Owl Archer, 70 speed. The Electric Bug Beetle, 43 speed. So so this little rock from space can run circles around most Pokemon, especially after it uses a stat boosting move like Shell Smash, which it can learn. So far this seems like an awesome little Pokemon. Cute design, potentially threatening in battle, and it even comes in 7 different flavors. But what's the lore? What are the really intriguing tidbits? While not necessarily being a Pokemon from space, it definitely spends a lot of time in the ozone layer, falling to earth when its shell gets heavy. And apparently if the core stays exposed, it… it just dies? Like, that's the core mechanic to this Pokemon. Oh, but I guess it can survive if it's put into a Pokeball quick enough. I know that in-game, the shell just reforms when you heal it back to full health, but if you want to take the Pokedex flavor as canon, it'll just die if you aren't quick enough. But this even extends into the anime where there's a whole episode about Ash and his friends in Alola watching a meteor shower of Minior. They find one that's a bit slow to getting out of its shell and they eventually become friends with it. Until the next day when it along with all the other Minior just dissolve back into dust. I'm skimming over the episode and looking at the shock value for comedy but this is actually like kinda sad. The episode itself is great and it hits the tone right, even working as a standalone. But the moral at the end of it is that's just how some things are. Not everything lasts forever, but enjoy it while it's here. And that's nice and all, but an entire species of Pokemon has a really short lifespan. Imagine a storyline that doesn't only last one episode, but follows a character as they capture a Minior and grow close to it, eventually learning of its eventual fate. They both mature very quickly as the time draws near, and then they say goodbye. That's some really heavy lore for Pokemon. But I guess it all kind of mirrors Minior's existence in real life. It was introduced in Generation 7 and didn't return in Generation 8. Its time was fleeting and some of us might have missed out the first time around. Minior did make an appearance in New Pokemon Snap recently, and I'm glad it got some kind of representation there, glowing in all its glory. I won't pretend that I was a fan of this Pokemon before now. I paid almost no attention to it during Sun and Moon and I was only reminded of its existence this last week while preparing for another upcoming video. And now that we're comfortably in the Nintendo Switch era of Pokemon as Minior's future remains uncertain, I feel like the short video was that fleeting moment. This is the night that it fades away but I feel complete. Maybe I'll try to use one the next time I replay Sun and Moon or maybe it'll return in Scarlet and Violet. Who really knows for sure? And so I guess that was Minior, the Pokemon on borrowed time. Thank you to all of my channel members who make videos like this possible, especially the Great Gators Jackson, Justin R, Mr. Pig Puncher, and Quago. If you'd like to support, get a shout out here and some access to emotes used in comments and live streams, then you can become a channel member today. You can also follow me on Twitter for more memes as well. Anyway, this has been GatorX, and I'll catch you all later. Explore a world beyond your own. And see how new adventures can take you on the ride of your life. Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon are proud sponsors of Disney Channel. Games and systems sold separately. Rated everyone.